There's a fast-growing group of people who are taking green to the extreme. They're called freegans, part vegan, part free. Free meaning they eat food that others throw away. Our early show contributing correspondent, Benno Schmidt, spent an evening with some of them here in New York. Well, we certainly have some bargains for you. As you said, these are freegans, and a lot of them have a very serious message. I spent some time with them, even doing some dumpster diving, and was very surprised by what we found. They're digging through trash in New York and other cities, but homeless they're not. I've got three potatoes. Does anybody want some? Many of these self-proclaimed dumpster divers are, in fact, educated professionals, choosing to forage through trash for their meals. We are here today to explore all the waste that's been tossed out by all of our all the retail stores in this area. On Manhattan's east side, the pickings are plentiful for this group of freegans, a kind of loose cross between vegetarians and anti-capitalists who simply hate to see good food tossed out. It's just as good as 20 minutes ago when it was inside the store. Unlike typical shoppers who do their business during the day, freegans come out at night. The specials aren't found inside, but instead outside, curbside, when stores leave edible treasures as trash. If someone said, you know, that's really nasty, you're literally eating off the streets, what do you say? Um, I, you know, I laugh. It's personal, it's professional, it's political, um, it's educational, it's all those things within the one. Do you guys want, the, do you want slice for it? And it's spreading. Freegans forage in cities like Portland, Chicago, Houston, Denver, Seattle, and of course New York, trading tips online on where the trash is tops. Yeah, this is somewhat like living in the woods. You have to know where the mushrooms grow. You have to know where the stores are to throw out the things you want. But you can bake with them, though. You can still get something out of them. And despite the gross-out factor, some doctors give the freegan's way a thumbs up, providing bacteria and rotten food are avoided, and, of course, caution against indulging in tossed-out meat, seafood, dairy, eggs, or cut packaged fruit. Bagels are a safe bet. It's clean. It's an entire bag of clean bagels that 20 minutes ago were inside the store and now they're on the floor. Will you take some of this stuff home or will you try to give it away? Because there's too much for even you to take, right? I do both. I take some home on the way. There's often somebody in the subway asking for food. The biggest scare for these freegans? Trying to stay ahead of that urban freegan nightmare, the garbage truck. Now, it is important to note that not all stores throw excess food away. Many contribute to America's Second Harvest Food Bank, a nonprofit that takes surplus from grocery stores and distributes to local food banks, Harry. Okay, so I saw you out there with those guys. Now, did you eat with them? I did eat with them. We took the shot out for time purposes, but a lot of the stores we found mm -hmm. actually put the, the trash out kind of with a wink and a nod, and they know they that know these folks, the exactly. are come and take this so stuff they, anyway. So they segregate the foods by food groups, and they try to make it nice for them because they know they're coming. Right, and uh, we, we should, uh, people, if they want to know more, should go online because you can even go on freaking vacations, right? Absolutely. That's amazing. All right, Benno Schmidt.